police dog Doc has badly injured his right leg after falling from a three-storey building. Doc's career is on the line here. He's basically busted all the ligaments in the back of his wrist and uh, they'll never heal. With that sort of injury, if we do nothing, he'll always be lame and he'll only get worse and worse and worse until it's totally collapsed on him. He'll have to have his joint fused permanently um, so it can't move at all. I don't know how he's going to go as a police dog. <laughs> Police dog Doc is lucky to be alive after recently falling from a three-storey building. The German Shepherd is at the Bondi Referral Hospital sash because his death-defying fall has caused serious damage to his right leg. We got him emergency help where they casted it and did all that for a couple of weeks, but it's got to a point now where it hasn't completely healed. It's, um, so there's still some healing there to go and we're a bit worried that there might be something else going on. G'day. How are you doing? Good. How are you, Andrew? Chris. Who's this? This is Doc. Doc. How are you, Doc? How are you, big fella? It's very exciting, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Me? You've been doing high-rise jumping. Given what we know has happened to Doc, i.e. he's gone for a high dive and landed three storeys down, um, I'm really worried that he's trashed the supporting ligaments of his wrist joint. Atta boy. You know, he's sideways, he seems OK, but he really just doesn't like you doing that. Well, yes, you're a good boy, hey? Yes, this is your saw one, I know. Yeah, yeah. now look, it, it, it's really, it's quite obvious that he doesn't like me sort of trying to extend his, his wrist. Um, and that's pretty typical for dogs that have done that sort of a high dive thing because they land and they damage those ligaments. So I think that's what's going on. And I guess the other thing is, is the one leg you can get about that far, the other leg that's damaged, we can, we're sort of pushing it even further. And that sort of suggests to me that he's ruptured those ligaments. Yeah. So. With that sort of injury, if we do nothing, he'll always be lame. And he'll only get worse and worse and worse until it's totally collapsed on him. So what we've got to do is we've got to prove whether I'm right or wrong, and so to do that I think we need to get some, get him anaesthetised and get some x-rays. That's it. If Doc's walk, leg sorry. can't be repaired, his career in the police force is likely to come to an end. The bond between a, a police dog and its handlers, it, it's very important for a successful team. You know, it's, it's, it's irreplaceable. Um, and, you know, for... <laughs> you can't really describe it. It's very, very important and it's something that, that, that the handler treasures. Yes, I'll go. Oh boy. At Sash, police dog Doc has badly injured his right leg after falling from a three story building. You're not going to catch any bad guys looking like that. Specialist surgeon Andrew Marchewski thinks the horrific fall may have caused serious ligament damage. What I've actually got to do is get him anaesthetised so he can't feel anything and take some x rays of that joint whilst I'm really wrenching on it to see if it can bend too far and then we can figure out what we've got to do to fix him. You're pretty much that's straight, I can't. And that's how it should be. There's no bend at all here. And then we can look at this one. You can see how much more that bends. So we look at his x-rays here, that angle is about 25 degrees more movement in there than it should be. To me that says he's ruptured those ligaments. This diagnosis means Doc's career as a police dog now hangs in the balance. He'll have to have his joint fused permanently, um, so it can't move at all, but at least it'll be in the right position for him to walk and run. And I don't know how he's going to go as a police dog. Andrew now needs to break the news to Doc's best mate and partner, Senior Constable Chris Hill. He's done enough damage that I don't... It's not going to get better. Yep. That's a problem. And the, I said, you know, now we can talk about what to do. With these cases, generally, we fuse the joint. Yeah. And that's the only way we'll get it so that it's functional. I guess the question you've got to try and answer, and I, I can't, it's hard for me to answer, is, is he going to be a working dog after that? Okay. Chris will need to get approval from the police force before the surgery to fuse Doc's joints can go ahead. Until this decision is made, the hard-working German Shepherd is now officially off duty. So he won't be 
100% and possibly not be able to return to work. Um, yeah, it's heartbreaking. Yeah, a lot of work's got into him. And he's your mate, so you just want him to be the best that he can be at what he does, so as so, so I do. Come on, buddy. Time to head home. At Sash, it's a big day for senior constable Chris Hill and his faithful partner, Doc. After a death-defying three-storey fall, the German Shepherd has been given the all-clear for surgery to try and repair his severely damaged right leg. Doc's career is on the line here. He's basically busted all the ligaments in the back of his wrist and uh, they'll never heal, so we've got to fuse his joint. So unless we get in and do something now, and unless this is successful, he's going to have to be retired as a police dog, and I think that'd almost kill Doc. I am a bit worried now that he won't, that he might have to retire at such a young age. He's, he's only three years old, uh, so he's still got a lot of work left in him, and we've got quite a good bond now. So um, to have to retire him and start over would, would be devastating for both me and him. I suppose because he enjoys his work, he really does. So there's, there's nothing subtle, unfortunately, about this surgery. With Doc's surgeries, the major risk, I guess, is that we're trying to fuse a joint um, that doesn't want to be fused. And so the risk is we'll do all this, come back, and it won't have done what we want it to do. It won't have fused. Um, and that can be really problematic. So we've got to make sure we're really meticulous with what we do. He's a, it's not a healthy joint. So basically what I'm going to do here is cut out all the joint capsule, all the joint cartilage, burr it down to bone basically. So we're going to turn this joint into just one single bone. And can we just have a suction on please? Okay, we're just going to go to this joint here. Um, so we've, we've basically ex we've exposed his joint, so I'm looking straight at his joint cartilage. Um, and now I'm going to start burring that out. And once we've got rid of all that, we'll pack it full of bone graft. Then we'll put a big plate across it to keep it nice and stable whilst it's healing. Yeah, so this is the plate that we're going to put on. I'll put a little bend in it like that, so when he runs, his leg won't be totally straight, it'll be sort of picked up like that a bit, so that'll be a, a little bit more anatomically normal for him. Securing the plate in the correct position is crucial. Otherwise, Doc has little hope of returning to the police force. So we've now got this plate on his leg and across that joint, so now it's stiff, it can't move. For the moment, the only thing keeping it like that is the plate. Give him 12, 16 weeks, then all that bone graft will cause that whole area to fuse together and it'll be like he's got one big long bone there. After two hours on the operating table... Right, last stitch. Finally, doc surgery comes to an end. So we've finished him now, he's stiff as a board. We'll just take him in the x-ray to see how all the implants look and make sure they're in all the right spots. We'll put a bandage on him and then we'll start waking him up. Good so far. I'm really happy with the surgery. The x-rays look great, so everything's gone well. Now we've just got to wait for this whole thing to heal, and then we'll see if we can get him back to doing the stuff he loves doing. All right. Hey, Doc. How are you doing? There you go. Was that exciting, mate? Was that exciting? <laughs> hey, come on. Just take him for a wander up there. We'll just see what he's doing. Yeah, he's there. Come, Dad. At Sash, it's you're hard to pee believe that police dog Doc recently Good underwent boy. major leg surgery. Good boy. Come here. Sit. Sit. Sit, Doc. Sit. <laughs> Doc, sit. The German Shepherd ruptured the ligaments in his right leg after a death-defying fall from a three-storey building. Doc is running around like a dog who's never had a surgery, he's never had his joints screamed out, he's never had his bones drilled. Um, and he's just building around like a, the crazy thing that he is. 
Before Andrew gives the all clear to go home, he does a final check on the German Shepherd's leg. There you are. Still love. Look at that. You're just a happy dog, aren't you, mate? <laughs> really? Doc's an amazingly good patient when you consider how he runs around as a total noodle um, when he's on the ground. I put him up here on the table and he's just gone, OK, I'm having something done to me. And he's just let me do it. And that's, he's just amazing. Um, there aren't too many dogs that I don't have to sedate to do that sort of a procedure. And he's just like lied there and gone, OK. Oh, he's a great dog. I mean, if, if the police didn't want him, I reckon I'd take him. Hey? <laughs> that tail, yeah. You need a... Hey, Doc. Hey, Chris is here. He says, what? Who? <laughs> Doc. Waiting in reception is Doc's partner and best mate, Senior Constable Chris Hill. I'm looking forward to seeing him again, of course. Um, you know, we spent so much time together that you're missing that element of your life when he's gone pretty much lost, you know, without your dog. Come on, Doc. Kick and kick. Go. Go. <laughs> oh, good boy. Yeah, I know. It's even more exciting. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, mate. How'd you go? How'd you go? Oh, I'm, I'm fine. Thanks. How'd you go? <laughs> You've dropped his body. Yeah. How are you, buddy? Good. Man. How are you? Hey. Good boy. You, you look at Chris and Doc together and you, you sort of can tell they're best mates. Um, and you get the impression that Doc will just do anything for Chris. Like, he'll, well, he's already leapt over tall buildings and it's ended badly for him. But you can just see if, if Chris said do it again, he'd do it again. Um, it's an amazing relationship. So basically the prognosis, will he be right to come back and work again, right. full duties, I think? Look, I've never done this surgery on a working police dog. You know, we just got to get him to heal first and then let him go and see what happens. But I, I think he's got to go. Certainly if we hadn't have done this, yeah. he had no chance, he'd have had to retire him. Fair, thank you. Yeah. All right, well, that's good then. So, <laughs> it's a good uh, result. That's a good result, exactly <laughs> right. So. It will be at least three months until Andrew can confirm if the surgery has been a success. But for now, Chris is just happy to be taking his best mate home. He realises that he's not 100%, but um, it's good that his spirit's still the way it is. I mean, that, that's, that's him, that's his character, and that's what we love about him. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content.